Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this look um, for summer. It's like my everyday face that I do in the summer when I ain't feeling like going all out and being super extra with my makeup. This is what I do. So it's pretty simple, pretty minimal. Not a lot on the eyes because your girl ain't got time for that. AKA I'm really lazy. And you'll notice throughout the video that it's a reoccurring theme. But hey, it makes your job easier because there ain't a lot of steps to this makeup look. So it's kind of all about the skin. Um, just being glowy, summery, bronzy. Um, and then you can pair it with like a bold lip, which is what I did today. But I also, most days I wear... Actually, I'm all over the place. Bright reds, bright oranges, bright corals, and then like soft, neutral soft pink so it's totally up to you because this eye look is so simple it's so minimal and so neutral that you can legit pair it with any lip color so if you want to see the products I use to achieve this look and my kind of my way of doing it then please keep on watching okay let's get started so first I'm gonna use the NYX Honey Do Me Up skin primer slash serum I don't know what it is but I think I like it. I've just started using it recently, but I think it's good. <laughs> I really don't know. Sometimes it's hard to tell if a primer is like doing its job, you know? But it is hydrating when you put it on, which is good. Then I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Blurring Stick or Blur Stick or whatever. Blur stick. I uh, got this in the Sephora Play Box and I've just been trying it out and I think it's really good. So I recently have been using the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation and since my body is kind of tan, it's probably hard for you to see. Okay, you can kind of see. <laughs> my body's a lot tanner than my face, so I use the shade Nude Beige. It's probably too tan, even for my tan, but the darker of the two that I have so I'm going to use it and then I just use a damp beauty blender and pounce it in okay now I'm going to put some concealer on um I've just been using this recently I don't know how I feel about it yet it's the Sephora collection bright future gel serum concealer I actually bought like a ton of shades for my makeup kit also um, it's okay. It's not heavy at all, which is nice. But it also doesn't cover very well on me. It covers on everyone else, like when I use it in my kit. That's because most people don't have the under eye circles that I do. <laughs> so I use this first because it's like not cakey. Like the tart shape tape can get if you use too much. So I've decided to like use that and then layer on top like a little bit of the tart one. And then I use the tart shape tape in the shade medium. Put a little on the, the little friend I have on my chin. A little down my nose, just for more color. I set it with the best powder ever. The RCMA No Color Powder is like legit the only powder I like. The only one that works underneath my eyes. Oh, how much? I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light. And I'll use the banana shade under my eye. Okay, and then I'm going to use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula to bronze up the face. And like use way too much of it. Sorry, I had to put my hair up. I can't do it anymore. It was driving me insane. I don't know what it's doing, but 
will continue. So I'm going to go back to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and use the Cool Tone Middle Brown at the bottom and literally like barely contour my face because I put so much like bronzer on and I already have cheekbones like to begin with. Um, it just is naturally darker there so I don't need to like go crazy. And then I clean up underneath the contour and the bronzer just so everything is like neat because your girl goes crazy. The Maybelline Infallible Paints blush palette and I use like the straight orange one. And then I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit by Nicole Guerrero. Mine is legit destroyed. Like what? I'm not happy about it. I literally broke like two of them right when I got it. Third one broke after that. Fourth one's breaking now. Oh, so I use a mixture of Glow Getter and Forever Young. Okay, then I just like brush off this white powder underneath my contour and bronzer and stuff. So now I'm going to fill my eyebrows in and I legit use eyeshadow because I'm kind of lazy and my other thing that I used to use broke. And then I lost something and then I didn't like the next thing that I bought. So I literally just keep going back to eyeshadow, but it's the same thing. Then for my eyes, I like to keep it like really simple, mostly because I'm lazy. <sighs> Seems to be a recurring theme with me, so um, yeah, sorry about that, but um. Yeah, I like to keep it like light, shimmery, and natural. So I grab a big fluffy brush and a few of the light tan brown colors in the Morphe 35O palette. And I just like brush them through my crease with like no rhyme or reason, literally. And then I take a blending brush that's so a lot more densely packed um, and also smaller so it covers less area. And I use a deeper brown in the very outer corner and blend it into the crease. Okay, and then I legit take my finger and I grab whatever shade I want to from the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. So typically it's Forever Young or Glow Getter. And I just dab it on my inner corner and then a little bit over, blend it a little bit over onto the lid. Like so. Okay, so in the summer, when I do this eye look, sometimes I do eyeliner, but most of the times I don't. And that can just circle back to the fact that I'm lazy, but also I just like to keep it more light and and airy and natural and simple in the summer so I'm just gonna use some mascara and my eyes will be done and now like the crazy person that I am I'm gonna add more blush because in my book you can never have too much blush but I know that's not actually a saying, but... Literally, who has time for fake eyelashes in normal life? Like, it still baffles me. Like, I love makeup and I wear makeup, but... Fake lashes? Honey. So, typically, I go either two different routes for my lips, so either like a bright bold one so it's all about like the lips and the skin and the eyes are pretty natural or I go with a more natural lip to match the eyes um my favorite like line of lipsticks is Maybelline 
also you don't have to spend an arm and a leg if you have pretty makeup so Maybelline's like matte Maybelline vivid brights like this one the electric orange one of my favorite lipsticks of legit all time and I will zoom you obnoxiously close hey girl literally it this is what my face looks like like most of the summertime so yeah it's not hard it's kind of a lot of products sorry about that but it's just what I like to do wow it's a miracle I usually have something on my teeth So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will list everything down below in case you missed it with links um, so you can shop them and buy them and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe and uh, let me know down below what you want to see next because your girl's running out of options and ideas. I see so many things that people do and they do great and they look awesome but then like I try to do it and it's just like I forget how to do makeup when I sit in front of the camera so I gotta get better at that. <laughs> um, and if you don't know I vlog a lot so be sure to check those out. They're not great but they're fun so yeah. Uh, thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye girl.